Hi friends, welcome to another video. This video is dedicated to new Mac users. Lots of my friends ask me how to increase thumbnail in Mac. So this video is dedicated to new users of Mac. Let's see how to increase the size of thumbnails. Here you can see few of thumbnails. We need to see thumbnails in large size because when there is lots of photos we need to delete it and sometimes we need to pick it and copy it somewhere else. In If you are a designer you need to see the thumbnail as, uh, for designers the size of thumbnail is very very important. Okay. So let's see how to increase size of these thumbnails. For that press command and plus command and plus together. See it is increasing. Command and plus increase the size of thumbnail and to decrease the size of thumbnails press command and dash. See, now we have decreased the size of thumbnails. It is not for thumbnails alone. If you have folders or if you have any files, yeah, everything will enlarge. See, the size is increasing when I press command and plus. And if I press command and dash, it is decreasing. Either you can do this way or else go to view. Here you can see the view option, go to view option and in this you can see show view options. Either you can go to view and click on this uh, show view options or you can press command and J. Okay, here you can see the uh, shortcut command and J. So click it, here you can see a dialog box. So just drag this icon size here see it is increasing if you want to decrease you can decrease how much you want there is a limit but you can increase the size and this grid option is um, work when almost work when you have lots of files i have only less files here grid option is uh, super good uh, actually it will decrease the size between these thumbnails it increase the size of thumbnails uh, i mean the gap between these thumbnails if you want to see a clear uh, i mean it will look clean if you do that kind of thing i think you all have understood the procedure to decrease the uh, size and increase the size of thumbnail or folder whatever in a folder okay if um, you can do it easily if you have any doubts please do comment below and I am using M1 MacBook. If you have doubts about that also, you can please comment. I will make videos of it and I will also give reply for your comments. And if you like this video, please do share to your friends who are new to MacBook or Mac products. And please do like, share, subscribe this video. Thank you friends. Thank you for your support.